Welcome to the standpoint. Ha! Ah, April is running too fast, isn't it? But it's all good. We thank God for life. Today we are continuing our journey through Ghana, talking about traditions and culture. And today we are going to Doma. Mm-hmm. We are going to Doma and we are going to learn about the people of Doma. We are going to learn about their history. We are going to learn about their way of life, especially the women. Historical women and current women. The culture, does it frown on, you know, women empowerment? We are going to learn a lot as well. You know how it's been so far. And uh, I can't believe next week will be the last one. Oh, no. But then it's all well and good. Let me say thank you to GTP for my cloth. This is in Shroma. And uh, I'd like to say thank you to Liran Collections for, you know, making this outfit for me. I'm so grateful. My turban mm -hmm, is by Afrax Classicals. Follow her on Instagram and then on Facebook as well. Thank you to Not Cosmetics for my makeup products and my makeup by Michelin's Amira. We take a break. When we come back, we meet a queen mother from Doma traditional area and we learn about them. We'll be back. Welcome back to The Standpoint. Today, as I told you, we are going to the Doma traditional area. Let me say thank you to our sponsors, G8 Perfumes Mall. They are at East Legon. Mother's Day is coming. Get ready. Go there. I mean, you saw it two weeks ago, the packages they have. Please, please, please go and get some for your mama, for your wife, for your auntie, for any woman in your life. You can get it for anybody celebrating their birthday as well. They have it for both male and a female, you saw it, you know. They, they gave me a gift, my Easter present. And because of me, my husband too, you know, had one. Can he, he had the royal. And I had the, you know, marine. My husband will have to go and increase my diet. And yeah, I have to spy if my mother-in-law is watching me. You know, so. <laughs> but uh, thank you so much. We also sponsored by GTP. Timeless and Easter on balloons and accessories. Thank you so much to them. Note Cosmetics and of course Afrax Classicals. Um, they, they they specialize in you know apparel. They my turban is by them. They do booboos, they do bags, they do shoes, you know, anything that you know you can adorn yourself with. You you follow them on Instagram and then on Facebook as as well. Afrax classicals and you you they will deliver wherever you are. Now, my queen mother today, I need to put it on record that she's not here representing the Doma paramountcy. We looked out for her. We heard about her and because of um, her credentials, you know, it's, it's, people have this perception about queen mothers. They are not educated. They, are, they don't go to school and all that. So we thought it would be interesting to interview her and through that we get to know you know more about her people of Doma so that's why um, she's here but then we salute the paramountcy the Doma paramountcy the paramount chief the paramount queen mother we, we we respect you and we acknowledge you and one of these days maybe we'll, we'll take the standpoint to Doma <laughs> you know to go and do that now let me acknowledge my queen mother here and she is Nana Ya, Nana Ya Koko Sichua the third. She's Doma and Kobia Hema and Amisu Hema Amisu Hiba. Amisu, is, is it a town? First of all, welcome to the standpoint, Nana Hema. You are Thank looking you very, very beautiful. You're also looking beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Amisu, is it a. Is it a a divisional area is it one town or it's a it's an area with towns under you all right thank you very much my in-law you know what <laughs> power and might belongs to god amen so let us give thanks to god for giving us such a wonderful time amen. papa we bless your name amen and let me extend my regards to the paramount yes you mm -hmm. said mm -hmm. to his highness his royal highness Osaji for Osiadia, your Ajman Bedu, the second, the 
paramount chief of Doma mm. traditional mm. area. Yeah. And he is also uh, the president of the Bono Regional House of, of Chiefs. Chief. Okay. Uh, and to Her Highness, Odeneho Kusia Fremadra in the second. Mama, I greet you. Yeah. God bless yeah. you. Amen. And to my chief, very mad there, Kusi Jaba, the second. Yes. My brother, yes. a son, mm. my everything. Yeah. God bless My you. senior husband. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> God bless you so much. And yeah. uh, let's go to your question. You said, yeah. uh, Amesu. Yeah. Amesu is, uh, yes, Amesu. Amesu is in the Brun region. Okay. Um, it's a town. Okay. But Ankobia is a division. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, so, since you, you, you've mentioned Ankobia, what is Ankobia? When is Ankobia Hima? All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. The Ankobia Hima is a division in the Doma traditional area. Okay. Um, we are the last born of the Diana clan. Okay. So we are called Ketri. You know how? Oh, sure. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. You know okay. how women pamper their the last bones? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So you can see that within me. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, I can see it. <laughs> sure. Because sure. me, I'm a last one too. Uh, yes. Hey, then today is not going to be. I easy. tell you. <laughs> 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 All right. So we are the last bones of the Adriana, Adriana. clan. Okay. And uh, through history, uh, we were asked, the Ancobia, being the last born, were asked to take over or look or watch over for a period whilst the elders mm. go to other places and come. Mm. So that if there are any attackers mm. alongside, we inform them. Okay. So we have to stay behind. Okay. We don't go anywhere but to watch over. And okay. Kobe you don't Ooh. go and Kobe. And Kobe and Kobe Bia. Sure. It's nasty. Natural to Ankobe. Wow. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, that's amazing. Okay, now let's get to know you as a person before we move to the history of your people. Um, apart from being a... Okay, how long have you been a queen mother? I have been a queen mother for eight years. Eight years? Yes. Growing up, did you know? Growing up, I know I'm from the royal family. Okay. I knew it. Okay. That uh, I'm from the royal family. I also had a history that uh, my mother... Mama Esther, I greet you. Mm -hmm. Was supposed to take up the throne. Okay. But she has um she has um four, four of the women. Um I'm the last born. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. So I thought the elder ones will be taking up the seats. It's right. Because I'm the fourth one mm -hmm. and to think of the elders have to go before you come. Mm -hmm. So I was not having that in mind yeah. Yeah. at all. Huh. So when it came to you, how did you feel? It was not easy. Mm. Let me tell you something. Uh, growing up, I was very religious. Okay. Very religious. Mm -hmm. They used to call me so for my queer master and that. Okay. I was much involved Crefe? in the Crefe, sure. Mm -hmm. I was much involved in the Methodist church. Right. So when it came to me that I have to be a queen mother with all these issues and Particularly with my area, mm -hmm. there were a lot of beliefs on the uh, stool. Right. People had a belief that when you ascend the throne, mm -hmm. uh, you cannot give birth. Mm -hmm. You will I, not marry. I was even then having a husband. Okay. Uh, uh, apart from that, when you ascend the throne, within 40 days, you are going to die. Oh, wow. Sure. So, uh, all these issues, in fact, dawned on me, but I said no. I knew one man who is a covenant keeping. Amen. So why don't I ask him, mm. as the praise people say, mm. Adibi Ameye, Asembi Abeka, have to ask yes, yeah. if it pleases mm. God. Yeah. So but I made that. No. No. Asembi Abeka, Ano, Adibi Ara. Me yeah, and ka se se mi bi sa se be ye e be ye ye su fe. Wow! Wow! So you wow. have to Amazing. ask. So I did that through prayers. Wow! And I consulted 
some men of God, my pastors, and they also join me in prayers. So mm -hmm. when I had the green lights, mm -hmm. nothing stopped Thank me. You. Because Moses once said, God, if your face do not go with me, I will never go. Yeah. So when I saw the face of God, I was so proud and bold. Because with God in the boats, it can never capsize. Amen. Sure. Amen. I even Amen. have goosebumps. <laughs> and people think tradition is fetish. And traditional leaders don't go to church. They don't believe in God. Oh. People have, I mean, for a special Easter program, that's what we did. We looked at tradition and culture, and it was so revealing. Yes. So you went ahead, and I believe you haven't looked back. Not at all. Not at all. Uh, I, I'm a local preacher in the Methodist Church. Hey, I said the wire thing. Sure. I have sat for two exams and passed, and I'm a local preacher. Yes, see, I'm here for the Omuche. Yes, Amen. I wish for that. Amen. 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 Now, before, so before you became the Queen Mother, what were you doing? I know you are an educationist. You, All yes. right. Okay. Before I became a Queen Mother, I was the PR for a senior municipal health insurance scheme. Okay. So even after my instruments, I worked there for about two or three years. Then mm. I moved to the Sunyani Technical University, mm. where I'm working currently. Okay. Um, aside that, I also have a private business, mm. and I am a company limited. Chai. I deal with hardware. Wow. I love the smile on your face. <laughs> a hardworking queen mother. Amazing, yes. amazing. Uh, so, uh -huh, let me ask you. You said you were married. How did I'm your married. husband... Uh, you are married, I'm yes. I'm married to one lawyer, Joseph Akwabua. The, a lawyer, Joseph Akwabua. The, the, the same lawyer, Akwabua. Akwabua. Yeah. In, the, uh, in, in which area? Sunyani. Uh, Sunyani. Yes. Okay. 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 How did he take it when you, you, you were told that you told him you were going to be made the queen mother? Nana, God works in mysterious ways. Amen. Um, I know he came to my life purposely for that lineage. Mm. You know, he has been so supportive. Wow. He accepted it boldly mm. and told me that, go, I will support you. Amen. Amen. And friends, you know, say, Nyamina kwanya achua achua. Nyamina kwanya achua achua ampa. My people, but my mother used to say that all the time. It's true. You never yeah, know. You never know. But or she said, "Be be a You won't understand. But wow. Then let me take a break. When we come back, we'll, we'll go into. Okay, since you have it, since you are sending the children, have you had children? Two, ladies. Well, I'm already I was, oh, about two. two straight. What about two? Two girls. Two girls. I was having one boy already. And I've added up two. two. And they were talking about 40 days. I'm yeah. now eight years on the throne. And you will go, ah, <laughs> more years to come. Amen. More years, and you do greater things. <laughs> Amazing. But where did you grow up? Uh, in Doma. You grew up in Doma. Yeah. Okay. Let me take a break. When we come back, we'll look at the history of the people of Doma. It, I mean, the, the amazing... When they say, Nyamina Kwanya Chuachu, listen, the number of people I tried and I didn't get, and I finally, finally, somebody linked me up with Nana Hema here. Look at, I mean, amazing, amazing. Well, let me say thank you to Gogot Yogot, Juice Time, House of Food, Cake Technique, Kodam's Gifted Station, Mother's Day is coming. Listen, all these people, patronize them, okay, please, so that they'll get some money, so, and then they'll come and support us. You don't want the standpoint to go off air, right? In July, the standpoint will be 13 years. Can it be 13 years on air? Charlie, Namia Yebio. Thank you, Dada Hima. Namia Yebi, 13 years. It's been by the grace of God, and we're so grateful. Yep, cleaning services. Remember, this program is aired on six platforms. Joy Prime, EBN TV, Truth TV, Facebook, YouTube, and our website, www.thestandpoint.com.gh, powered by Dream Over. We take a break when we come back. More exciting history ahead of us.
Welcome back to the standpoint. Well, my cloth is by GTP. This is Insroma. And people think that Insroma is for only funerals and outdoors and all. It depends on how you rock it. Your designer does it for you. And Liran Collection has made a beautiful dress out of it for me. And I'm so grateful to her. Makeup product by Nut Cosmetics, beautifully applied by Michelin's Amira. Follow her on Instagram and on Facebook as well. Michelin's Amira. My Turban by Afrax Classicals. You can follow her on Instagram and on Facebook as well. So grateful to them. And of course, my beautiful ring and earrings by Accessories World. Now, for this special month of April, our programs on traditions and cultures, we have donors from, that's a GH uh, Perfumes Mall who have given us gifts for our guests. We have GTP who have given us gifts, Nose Cosmetics giving us gifts, and of course, our Frax Classicals who have also given us gifts. So they are our donors, and we are so grateful to them. Nanahima. When we talk about, I mean, to my this, uh. <laughs> please. When we talk about the people of Doma, who are they? All right. What is your story? What is your history? All right. Before I go to the people of Doma, I want to add up something to the Ankobia. Okay. Uh, Ankobia, as I earlier stated, is part of the Doma traditional area, it is a division. It's a division. Okay. Yes. Uh, Doma is made up of about 12 divisions. Okay. And you are one of them. Okay. And we cover about one third of the land. Okay. Of Doma. Okay. And Amesu that I said is the capital of the Ankobia. Okay. 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 Yes, to your question, Doma, the people mm -hmm. of Doma. Yeah. We are subgroup of the Ediana clan. Okay. And we are the firstborns. Mm. Adriana PSC. Adriana PSC. I've heard that phrase before. Yes. Adriana PSC. Adriana PSC. We are in the Bono region. Okay. Most of the people there are farmers and traders. Okay. Uh, we are known as warriors. Mm -hmm. And also, um, the food we eat over there is fufu mm -hmm. and dry okru, chinkase. Chinkase. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I know Mother's Day you come. I'll prepare a special one for you. Shop. <laughs> Shop. That is what we eat. But uh, the people of Doma migrated mm. from Akwem in the eastern region. My like, own Akwem. Oh, sure. My own Akwem. Oh, sure. Was, okay. Where we have been, been able to give you a nice and good husband. <laughs> <laughs> Akwem in the eastern region, behind the Vuta River. Yes. Uh, the migration came about... When then Ken, Nana and Sansa Seku yeah. passed away, and there were two twins, mm -hmm. Atakra Meniampon, okay. Penny, mm -hmm. and Atakra Meniampon, Kuma. Kuma. Okay. They were all interested in ascending to the throne. Mm -hmm. They all wanted to be the king or be a steward. So it brought a lot of dispute and chaos in the town, and their mother. Nana or Queen Kum, Kumda, Kumida, Kumida, but he said Kumda, taught it wise as a mother not to sit down and let Chief Tensi separate or tear apart the relationship of the two brothers. Okay. And also not to sit down and look at people sharing blood all in the face of Chief Tensi. Okay. So he decided to take the Atakuma. That is Atakra Emeniam Ponkuma mm -hmm. to get him a new settlement. Okay. So they left Akum. And when they decided to leave, uh, majority of the kingmakers also follow. Okay. And uh, some of the royal family follow them. They settle at uh, Akuma when you so, then move on. They settle at Sawam, uh, Kou, a lot of places. But uh, because of time constraint, yeah. I want to talk about the A, B, C, D of the Doma history. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> the A, B, C of Doma history yeah. uh, will boss on Abisim, Abisim. Okay. Boma, okay. Chira, and Doma itself. This is proper A, B, C. Sure. <laughs> Before they got to Boma, 
they stay in Ashanti. Okay. With Ashanti people. They had a lot of wars. But to our credit, they had 10 wars and we won 8 out of the 10. <laughs> that is why I said we are warriors. Oh, yes. We are yes. great warriors. Yes. Hey, you are Kwemu people now. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, they, they are our brothers. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> the twin brother, the Penin, yeah. is the Kwemu Hine. Hine. Yeah. And the Kuma is the, the Doma Hine. Hine. So they are brought the same blood. Yeah, the same blood. Uh -huh. So yes. you can trace yeah. everything. Yeah. Uh, even their emblem yes. also have uh, the dog with the, the firewood, fire. as we do. Yes. And most occasions, like funerals, like festivals, we see us there. Yeah. I think I have been... Uh, that is where I first met you. Yes. Yes, yes. in yes. one of the Afro funerals. Yes. 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 So we are brothers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's okay. why you are surely my in-law. <laughs> Yes, direct one. Direct in law. <laughs> Not Kona Kona no, 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 direct one. Yeah. Okay, so at that place, that is where they settled and all those wars took place. Mm. So the people got scattered because of the war. Right. So they moved forward and when they got to Boma, the B, mm. the Boma is literally means Boa, oh my, I know. Mm. Gather your people. people. Gather your people. So then chief had uh, a drum, but he put up a two-story building. We call Aban Shro in Aban, Chi. Yes. Yes. So the people used to call it Aban. Mm. Aban. Then he had a drum called Apredi. Apredi, yeah. So every evening he would play that drum. Then it will draw people from their close villages mm. and the town to come and listen to the Aban as a sort of entertainment. Mm -hmm. So when they are going, they will say, We are going to the Aban Ase, mm. Aban Nase, Yeko mm. Aban Nase, Ako Akuti Apridi. Apridi. So with that, it was corrupted to Aban Pridase. Wow. Aban Pridase. That is where the paramount stew is. Wherever the paramount stew is, yes. is called Abampridase. So currently in Doma, we have Abampridase. That is where the paramount stew is. Wow. So it, that's Abandra was able to bring the people together. together. The people who scattered? Yes. They brought them together. Okay. So from there, they moved to Abisim. Okay. Nanahima, this one, please hold on. Is that why you have a dance called Boma? Good. The Boma no. is, the, 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 that drum is from where they, they first settled. settled. Oh, so it's the drumming that gave the name to the dance? Yes. Okay. 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 So okay. you see, that, that's uh, Boma. <laughs> the Boma chief yeah. is called Kwa Fakutu. Mm. As... Your side. Yes, yeah, so they don't have for to Sure. Yeah. <laughs> and they also don't instill queen mothers. Okay. The paramount queen mother takes up the role of the queen mother in Boma. Okay. As it stands. As, okay. Okay. Because that is where they scattered in the blue region. Mm -hmm. Okay. Our area, we all speak Brun, Brun. with the exception of Boma, because mm. when you look at the location, uh, they are within the Ahafu region. Within. Okay. And the Ahafu people speak uh, Asante. Asante. Okay. Yes. So most of them also speak that language. Mm. <laughs> so from there, they went to Abisim. Okay. Abisim. Under the cooler, Besinase. Besinase. Yes, under the cooler. Abisi be brave also. Abisinum. 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 Then they went there. Uh, there is also another history that uh, revolved within that time. Mm -hmm. The Ashanti people did not give us rest. Mm. They followed us okay. to that place, mm. and. In fact, that war took them on away. So then Cain mm. so thought it wise that to allow the Ashanti people to kill him. You know, in the uh, war front, if you, the, the leader is killed, killed. Yeah. yes, it means mm -hmm. you are defeated. defeated. Yeah. 
So in order not to be defeated, he killed himself. He was a brave man. Just to let the Doma people go without going to be ruled under the Ashanti people. Wow. So then they, they move again to Tra. Literally means Yen Chewaha. Mm. Yen Chewaha. We will not stay long. Long here. Yes, we will be moving forward. Yeah. And Tra too, as I already said, mm. because of uh, the natural blessings of God, yeah. uh, they had people coming from Techimai, Wenchi there to have a trade or with them. Right. So their stay was very, very good. Okay. And from Chira, they moved to Doma, mm. which was called Wampem. Wampem. Presently, okay. yeah. Doma crew. Wow. How did the name change? Right. The name mm. Doma Inkru is Do Oma. Mm. The history of Doma can never be complete without saying kudos to Nanakum Da. Da. Mm. Because, because he loves it. Yes. She was a peacemaker. She loved her children. And she never allowed these kids to be turned apart because of chieftaincy. So she took a bold step to take Kuma from the place. Wow. wow. So, Doma, 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 the love of my children, children. or my beloved my children. children, that mm. gave the name Doma. The Wampem, there is a river there called Wam. Yeah. Wampem. Mm. So, that was the name of the area. Yeah. But with the great deed of that woman, woman, the love of that great woman yeah. gave the name Do Woman. Mm -hmm. Do -woman. You know, the, the interesting, you know, sorry, I mean, when, when history is told and the women are, the role of the women, I said, I have goosebumps and it gives me so much, you know, power and coming and confidence and everything. I mean, I, I now understand how. Doma and Akwemu women are so strong sure. and so forceful. Because when you look at Akwemu, for example, Nana Frakuma the first, it is told we heard the history. She held the fort of the paramountcy for over 30 years when they didn't have a paramount chief. Now the same. current, the, I will come to now, the current Nana Frakuma too also did the same for a very long time. She held the fort until Nana um, Odenho Kwafakuto over 25 years or so before Nana uh, Kwafakuto, Odenho Kwafakuto was ensued. And I'm sure Doma has similar. Yes. Um, when they got to Doma, Nana Kusiensia. Okay. By that time, the child or the son was a small boy. Okay. So he took up the mantle as a chief and a queen for a longer period before instituting the king. Yeah. So Doma people, the, the women in Doma, yeah. in fact, you are great. Yeah. Those men out there who are not married. They should come to Doma. Sure. They should get great women at sure, Doma. Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> Hard-working, strong, bold, sure, and confident sure, sure, women. Sure, sure, sure. Wow, let me take a break. When we come back, we'll look at the festivals. You celebrate the significance of it. And um, normally I end with the women, some of the great women. But we've, we've heard about the, 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 the great uh, Nana uh, Kum, Kumda, whose decision helped to establish now the Akwemu Kingdom and Doma Kingdom. One woman's decision and her love for her children amazing and woman you say what you don't get power you don't have power you don't have you know a voice take your voice and rise up and do the right thing save your children for the love of your children for your people you know and do it well and we've also heard about um nana the one who ruled for a long time what was the name nana Kusiencia. nana kusiencia nana kusiencia also um let me say thank you to our supporters go got you got 
House of Food, Antivera, thank you so much. Thank you to Cake Technique, Yup Cleaning Services, Juice Time, Kodam's Gift and Stationery, and of course, a Dream Oval. We'll be back. Welcome back to the standpoint. Hmm, you're learning a lot, aren't we? Learning a lot. I mean, there's a reason for everything. There's an explanation for everything. And sometimes we are made to turn our back on our history and our culture and our tradition all because we don't understand it. Amazing. Well, again, I say thank you to our sponsors. That is GTP, still timeless. It's thank you to um, Instagram Balloons and Accessories. GH Perfumes more is gone. Their numbers are on the screen. Mother's Day coming, special package for you. Just make sure you patronize, you buy some for Mama. Their per perfumes are so, so amazing, so beautiful. Thank you to them and thank you to all our donors. That's uh, G8 Perfumes Mall, Note Cosmetics, GTP, Afrax um, Classicals. Thank you. We are so grateful to all of them. Now, Narahima, what are some of the, what, what, what kind of festival do you celebrate? All right, thank you. Our major festival, the Doma mm -hmm. people, our major festival is the Kwefi festival. Kwefi. Kwefi. Mm -hmm. You know, the Kwefi literally means kwa. Clean. Mm -hmm. Clean up your homes. Clean up your environments. Okay. So um, the festival is being celebrated uh, in the month of November and December, getting mm. to the end of the year. year. That is where we do physical and spiritual cleanup mm. so that uh, we cleanse uh, the environment and also purify the shoes. Mm. The activities are very interesting. Normally, it takes three days for the mm. festival. You know, within the November and December, mm. the chief priest is asked to pray. Mm. So if you're a Christian, you say you don't pray, over to you. Mm. Uh, so they will pray for direction, mm. to know when mm. or the exact date to fix the festival. Okay. And on that, it takes three days. It starts from Thursday, mm. uh, then ends on Friday, then Sunday, Thanksgiving service is offered. On the Thursday night, all the chiefs and queens, that through their bravery, mm -hmm. we are whom we are today. Their stools are with the dumping. Mm. And throughout the war or the battles that we are back, we had one great king's head mm. in Doma, mm. the Ashantis, mm. Nana Obri Yebua. So at that night, uh, the Dompim, mm. Hima, in traditional realm, mm. she is the wife of the king, okay. the paramount chief. Okay. So she will walk from her place in the night. Mm -hmm. All lights will be off mm -hmm. within the municipality. Mm -hmm. Then they will light up woods, fire on woods, mm -hmm. and march in the principal streets of Doma mm -hmm. to the Dompim, Hennes House. Okay. Where that head is, then libations are poor, mm -hmm. then purifications are done over there. So the next day, that is um, Friday, right. the king and the queen sit down. Okay. Uh, we call Nkukwatuo, Etu Nkukwa. That is where people will come and pay homage yeah. and present gifts. Yes. So uh, the Nkukwa, I know you asked. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's a piece of wood. Okay. 
you know, the festival is being celebrated within December and uh, mm. November. November. That time too, the weather there is very cold. Okay. So, uh, you bring the firewood, then they light it to be a sort of heat okay. and give them warm, okay. a comfort. Right. They sit around it to get comfort. Right. <laughs> so you bring that kukua, you see the chiefs, the divisional chiefs, mm -hmm. uh, with their kukua yeah. okay. on them, come and put it there, pay homage, and present your gift. Very interesting. Wow. That is the Friday. I can imagine with a smile on your face. Oh, I can sure. imagine. <laughs> That's very, very interesting. It's very beautiful. Very, very interesting. One of these days, I will invite you. Hey, welcome. Sure. Welcome. Welcome. Then after the Nkukuya tour, the stool is sent to the riverside for purification, mm -hmm. for washing. Then that one too, you march through the principal street of Doma mm -hmm. to the riverside. Okay. To go and do the purification. Mm -hmm. So from there, then the Saturday, and because of modernization, we sit, we invite people, we come, and we share history and everything together. Then the Sunday, we give thanks to God. God. That is how we are celebrating. Yeah. Apart from that festival, we also have Umruko. Okay. Umruko is being celebrated every six weeks. Okay. Every uh, six what weeks. we call Akwesidai. Yes, you, you celebrate yours on Sundays, okay. but ours fall on Wednesdays. Days. Okay. That's why we have Kwada. 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 Muruku. Muruku. Okay. Yours is Sunday, yeah. Akwesidai. Yeah. Yes, so ours is Muruku. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that one too, we use it to uh, purify the stews, yeah. feed yeah. Uh, those who have come and gone. Yeah. Even in the Bible, it said, Yeah, I dance for Brunukuma, a child, yeah. Yeah. Those who left a legacy, legacy behind. behind. Yes, we remember them yeah. during that time. Yeah. And also, I was going to ask, How do you marry all these rituals and person with uh, your Christianity? You know, because some people consider it as, you know, not Christian, you know, talking about the stews and purification and all that. You know, point of libation, and how do you marry that to you as a person? All right, thank you very much. You know, you have worship. When you say you are worshiping something, mm. you have worship. Then we have um, what do I say? Rituals that you perform. Mm. In the Bible, we know of uh, King David. King Solomon yeah. and a lot of the kings. Yes, right. They they did the rituals that are deep faiths within them. Right. You know, some of the rituals, the way we understood it or the way we are being taught, mm -hmm. make it fetish. Yes, right. But when you go deep within it, it's not fetish. Yeah. As I said, we do those things in remembrance. Yes. So if a day is set aside to celebrate somebody who brought the stew mm. that I'm sitting on today, mm. somebody who threw his toe mm. and being honored today, okay. yes. I think there's nothing wrong. wrong with it. I agree. I the totally way agree. Uh, the whites gave us Christianity, that is why we are finding it very difficult in practicing it. Yes. Pouring of libation. Mm. In the Bible, there was a pouring of libation. Mm -hmm. You see, when King David slept mm. and woke up on the mountain, when he woke up and he saw that God has revealed himself to him, he said he took oil and poured, some of the English versions say, pour libation. He poured libation, mm. but he used oil. We are using alcohol. Oh, yeah. uh, the alcohol, the side effect of alcohol on the human being. Yeah. That is why we talk against it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So if you are able to uh, marry the differences of cultural and, and worship, worship, you can go far. You can go far. You can go far. Amazing. 
Now, in conclusion, um, can we talk about some of the... Okay, so far you've talked about two women who played the major roles in your transition to Doma Wait, and who are some of the women? I mean, did you have women warriors or women who really, uh, when you finally settled, you know, stood out and did something great for the people of uh, Doma? Yes. Um... I can never complete also without uh, acknowledging uh, Nana Yayebua. Okay. She is also the mother of Nana Ajimambedu. Do, okay. The first. The first, okay. And Nana Kushensia, yes. the mother of Osajifu Osiadeo Ajimambedu, the second. Okay. okay. They were all queens mm -hmm. yeah. in Doma. Nah. And they also did a very good work. Human being, mm. character, mm. character takes us far. Mm. The women of Doma are of good character. They are industrial, sure. They are peace loving people, sure. They have good character. Mm. You know, in the Bible, Moses was promised that you go to the promised land. Right. But because of character, mm. he couldn't get there. there. King David, because of character, he did not end well. Right. Solomon, because of character, okay. all the gifts of riches that God gave to him, he did not end well. So with the good character of these women that I've mentioned, they were able to nurture great kings. Mm. As I mentioned, Osaji Fosia yeah, Adeyo, yeah. Ajman Bedou II. Yeah. He's doing marvelously yeah. great things. Yeah. And there are some women also there who are helping yeah. the Doma kingdom. Mm. Let me talk of the late uh, Nadua. You know, Doma, as I said, a lot of people there are farmers, uh, poultry farmers. Mm. A lot of eggs that you eat here are from, are from Doma. <laughs> okay. And he brought uh, a factory that manufactures crates that they put eggs inside, oh. all to support the economic activity of the people over there. Wow. She was a woman. Yeah. Yeah. When you go to the academic side, we have one uh, Madame. Our Mrs. Janet Ba. Okay. She was also a mayor. Okay. She's from Abisim. Okay. She's very good. good. And she supports the people. Yeah. Then uh, one Madame Cynthia Day. She's mm. also good. A philanthropist. She, she has given my community an ambulance. Hey. So if I don't mention her name. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. There are lots of women that are helping the uh, society or the town that needs to be acknowledged. Yeah, right. In fact, the people of Doma, they are surely peace loving people. Cool. I've, I've heard you say yeah. Mother's Day, Mother's okay. Day. I know Mother's Day, yeah. you pay homage. I'll pay homage. <laughs> I have to. I have to because the people of Doma are my in laws. You know, my in laws. That's amazing. Now, your final words I want you to say something to the people of Doma listening to you. You know, we do this because we realize that we have lost our history. We have turned our back on our tradition and our culture. I mean, look at the journey that you traveled. I mean, there are people, I'm sure you intermarried and everything. So when you go in deep into it, by and large, we are all one people. We are all one people. So that's why we do this program, especially so that other people from some, there are people in Kumasi, I'm sure they don't know this history. There may be people even in Akwemu, they know that Doma and Akwemu are bad, but they do not know the history. But I have heard that, yes, Doma, I've met Osia uh, Dio, I've met uh, Nana, um, the Paramount Queen Mother, Nana Akusia. You know, but, but I didn't know that it was the decision of their mother I've heard that they were brothers and there was something else, but I didn't know that it was their mother who took the decision to let them go. So please say something in your in your in your in your language. Is it you say Bruno? Bruno. Bruno. It's a bacho. Yes, yeah, Bruno. Mm-hmm. Bacho. Mm-hmm. You. 
me mamfo eh dio di kan eno nsira kwenye free ode ne ho kosia free majabia otosumi nu mama nsro na makwenya ni so mechia ho na masre makam yenu ana amensa ode a kire wo ma se ye hwe dio ko so ne one ne akoso a etwema ye nyina ye nipa baako nti hu ma ye ntena se ma amayo sem entiti ye mu hu ma ye ntena se emma bibibia entiti ye mu fi se ye nananom bi no edika na abri be mojeni na ma no mie nu ye duru baabia ye duri be nfo ne be ka be pray o yi baako a ubua na abu ni mom so ka bo ma ubua omu ti mesre se hu ma ye nyina ye nkan ye hummo ni en sodo ba mani mu ni en fensi wo ni nwuma pa ye nananom ba ya be die gaye no yesu ye timi ato aso na da chi nchi mba ne be ba benya bi aso e di adanse pa na me nchira hu nyina amen 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 na yuma wo gift ka kri bi wa ha ah ye pese ye de mauna ye de kire se ye ni so ene ade kire awodi amanyen no let me try ya aka ikel ene me me come me try aka ebu no pacho o pacho tnasi pacho to first of all no ye wo e the cosmetics from note cosmetics in a intama from GTP in a your wall perfume fog almost special fog in a almost roll on in a body splash now her now a doubt um person be able to go by set up and to send me db a frax classicals or the menu i see one more it's yes it that was here the mouth is your part Amen. Amen. That's it. That's Definitely. Definitely. And now we can see two days near the mouth. It's so sick. But now we're here. We're going to have to go to the house. We're going to have to go to the house. Lawyer, you're going to have to go to the house. That's very brave. That's it. That's it. I'll be back with a bit of me. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So now my question is, where did we lose it? Where did we go wrong? With all the beautiful history of our journeys to where we are in Ghana, the various tribes, the communities, the towns, the provinces, and the role that the women played, and the honor that we're giving to women, where did we lose it? From the stories of the Yasin to us, the women who ruled in one time or the other in parts of this country, to the wives of chiefs, to the mothers of kings and queens who played roles, where did we lose the respect and the honor 
that our forefathers and foremothers made sure that they, they, they gave to women. The respect and honor and the place in history and development that the women fought for. Where did we lose it? Just like everything, we copy blindly. People introduce things to us. And instead of trying to understand and work out how we can make it work for what we already have, we throw away what we have. We throw away what we have and go for something that is foreign. But listen to me, trust me. Unless we work with what we have, what God gave us, <laughs> we would never develop. Because you cannot be whiter than the white. You cannot practice somebody's religion more than that person. You cannot be, you know, something that you were not created to be. You can learn. You can work around it. You can, you can think about it and try to, to, to um, incorporate that into your own destiny, your journey, your history, your way of life. By throwing away what you have and going for something that is not yours. It won't work. And I'm so glad that we are learning. Listen, if you miss any of our programs, go to YouTube and watch it and learn about history. Because by and large, we are one people. Like the Bible says, we are strangers on this earth. We are all strangers in Ghana. Mm -hmm. We all came from somewhere. So let us learn to coexist peacefully. Respect each other's culture and tradition. We've lost our respect for our elders, our traditional rulers. We don't respect them. We don't listen to them. All in the name of religion and politics. Yes, religion and politics. And we need to watch it. We need to watch it. Because our various religions, Christianity, talks against the suspect, honor thy mother and thy father. Islam talks about it. Heaven lies at the feet of your mothers. I'm sure it says something about their fathers, but that one I don't know. The various religions, I'm sure. So please, please, this is a new day. Let's go back. Make sure you learn. Trace your route. It's a beauty. You have a beautiful history. I know. I don't know where you're watching, but you have a beautiful history if you decide to go into it. You have a beautiful history that will bring smiles that you can tell your children and your children's children. We are Africans. We are Ghanaians. We are Ghans. We are Ewes. We are Fantis. But we are all human beings created by God. I am a woman with super crazy faith in God, but I know why. And I don't know why God created me a Ghanaian and a Fanti and decided that I'll be where I am. But one thing for sure, I know he has given me wisdom and I need to apply it wherever and make it work for me. Thanks for watching. See you same time next week. Bye for now.